That's why have you brought me here? Get you away from all that chaos. So we can talk. Is there anything you need to tell me? Because there's nothing you can say that would make me walk away from you. So you think I killed her? Did you write that poem? Yeah. What does it mean? Because before you explode at me, there's a very real implication that you hurt her. I wrote that to... I was trying to make sense of what was happening. What was happening? I wrote that from her point of view. It wasn't me that was hitting Rain. She was the one that was hitting me. I shouldn't have told you. No, 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 of course you should. I just need to manage this situation. Manage the situation? Do you care how I feel about any of this? Did you even know how hard it was for me to tell you what happened? I felt so alone. That the only person I could have spoke to about any of this would have been Jules. And... I know. I'm sorry. You're right. I'm here for you now. Please talk to me. When she started hitting me at first, it felt like an accident. And then, after a while, I, I started feeling like it was because I annoyed her or, or because I'd upset her. She, she made me feel like I deserved it. That's what abusers do. That's what Mac did to me. I never spoke to anyone either. I didn't want to believe it was happening. I felt so scared to speak to anyone. I don't know how she did it, but she, she made me feel like I couldn't trust anyone apart from her. You need to know that you are not to blame for any of this. You've been through so much in your young life, more than most people go through in a lifetime. It's no wonder you wanted to run away. Maybe you were right with, with all those videos circulating. Of course. I'm going to do everything I can to help you. I know I wasn't there when you were young, but I'm here for you now. If you're happy, I'm going to share this with Steve. We're going to need his help. But we can't tell anyone else about the abuse. Why? Because if the world finds out that you were a victim of domestic abuse, they're going to think you killed Rain. <laughs> Are you sure this is going to work? Yeah. You just need to take yourself away, wait for this to blow over. Mate. Are you all right? Listen, I had no idea Rain was treating you like that. Come here. Look, here, here, he'll be fine. Um, I just need you to go with him. Pack a bag so he's ready for the offer. Can I talk to you for a minute? Are you sure sending him away is the right thing to do? Look, he needs our support right now. He needs to be able to talk about the domestic abuse that he's just suffered. Look, I just need you to trust me. Can you do that? I have to keep my son out of jail. Go out the back way so no one sees you. Please. Come on. I guess we go pack you a bag. Romeo. Hope you're enjoying Rain's videos. Let's just say our password didn't take much cracking. What was it? Me, me, me. There's plenty more in Rain's drafts. Before you know it, Brent will be vindicated and Romeo will be banged up where he belongs. I'd do anything for my son. And so would I. So are you sure sending him off was the right thing to do? I had to, Steve. 
he needs to come to terms with what's happened to him. Look, I realise that. But he's a victim here as well. I'm just not sure the world's going to see it that way. And until it does, he needs to keep a low profile. Fine. I suppose you know what's best. I need to see Brent as well. Are you joking? He kidnapped Perry. Oh, have you forgotten that? No, far from it. How do you mean? Cheryl is convinced it was Romeo who killed Rain. She's just off her head. Yeah, be that as it may, but it's my job to ensure Romeo isn't put in the frame for this, regardless of what he's done. What he's done? You don't think he did kill Rain, do you? No, of course not. <laughs> he's not capable. All right. He's a sweet boy. Wouldn't that apply? I'm going for a walk. Anyone what happened at the moment? 